Hi right, guys, it's uh, August 20th, 2012 at 2.19. Um, I just got in from a bike ride, so um, if I look a little uh, worn out, that's what's going on. Uh, I got about 22, 23, 24 miles up into the mountains. It's uphill all the way to the direction where I was going, and all the thunderhead started coming in, and lightning started hitting everywhere, and it looked like it was getting ready to rain, and I was sweating pretty good, and didn't want to be fully soaked up at about 10,000 feet, and so I turned around and came back. And uh, anyway, while I was um, on my ride, I uh, I had what's been the theme today um, on my mind and my heart. Seems like there's so many guys, um, so many people in general out there that uh, are really just now waking up and haven't understood what all is going on and realizing that we each are creating our own reality by our thought, by what we picture in our third eye, by our thought of our crown chakra, what we picture in our third eye, um, which is third eye chakra, what we speak um, that creates the vi vibrations that goes out into the illusion and uh, comes back as manifested reality. Um, we have two different ways of manifesting. We have ways of manifesting through the brain, which creates plurality. Um, you not only create that which um, you would like, you also create something equal and opposite. Um, it's a big balance. That's how it works. And when you're in your brain, that's what goes on. And the brain is the separation. The brain is the ego. The brain is not the heart. Um, it's not the wholeness. Um, some people are trying to connect their brain to their heart or their heart to the brain or Actually, it's the brain to the heart. Um, and then others of us uh, realize you've just got to totally shift your conscious out of the brain because consciousness is what you are. Consciousness is um, that energy, that spirit, that divine thought, that all that is that embodies this physical earth transportation mechanism. Consciousness can be anywhere, just like if you're projecting it out of the body in astral projection. Or for me, when I was uh, needing to invent something, I would move it you know, up and down my antiprana to... Um, what I would do is take it up to my Melchizedek or Universal Chakra, about five feet up my, my uh, ascension cord, um, and be able to tune in to um, the universal reality. And, um, and that's how you can run your chakras up and down your consciousness and become multidimensional. But so many people are still in their head and they are just now waking up and trying to manifest and create things. And uh, they're, they've got some really, um, some concepts that are great thank you for waking up and, and trying what you're doing but you got to realize what it is you're doing when you're creating out of your head you're creating not only that which you wish to create and you wish to manifest but you're also uh, many times manifesting exactly exactly the opposite just like if you're trying to um, create money for yourself abundance a lot of people think money is abundance I think it's having everything that we need um, two totally different types of things. Um, and when you create money out of your head um, and you're putting that force into the universe, a lot of times with the duality to make balance because you're in doing it out of plurality, uh, you're not only creating that money to come into your life, you're also creating something that's going to take that money. Now, when you get into the heart, uh, it's a different story. You're creating out of oneness. But one of the things that I found and one of the things that um, I see different now that I've um, shifted my consciousness into my heart and out of that duality of the head. And I, my head operates from the heart. The, the head is controlled by the heart. But I look at abundance in a totally different way. Like I said, I look at it as in having those things that I need for whatever it is that you know, I wish to do or create or manifest or whatever. That's abundance to me. It's not having you know a bankroll of, of money like the, the movie the, the Secret talks about. In fact, um, having 
more than what you need can be a nightmare and can reduce your spirituality because you're trying to it's just like having too big of a house you're spending all your time in maintenance and spending all your time trying to pay the taxes and spending all your time trying to earn the money to pay the notes on it and you're not spending your time enjoying life so the abundance um, can turn into a nightmare and um, truly abundance is having exactly what you need all you you have to have and having the time to actually live and enjoy life um, that uh, there is such a trick to it guys and um, it's an art to manifesting and I always have what I need a lot of times it's just like on my last video and I was um, saying I'm being called to go do these ceremonies around country um, well, it takes money to get there to do those ceremonies. And if, um, if what the message I'm hearing is that I'm supposed to go to these and I put it forth into video, um, somehow or another, the money that I need for the travel expenses and, and to attend the ceremonies will actually manifest. But if it doesn't, then that's not something that, you know, I'm supposed to be doing. Now, that brings on a whole nother issue that I have um, because I don't need a whole lot of money. And I don't want anybody who does donations to me thinking that it's got to be specifically for certain things. And that becomes an issue of my heart and something I've got to think about. Anyway, whatever. Um... I, I thank you for those people who have who have contributed and helped. Thank you very much. If if I don't have what I need at a certain time, I will be holding it for the next gathering. Um, just like the Crazy Horse Memorial, that's you know we're talking ten days away now. If I hadn't got enough to go there and back, then I will hang on to it and try to go to Asheville, North Carolina, on the uh, September Equinox gathering. So anyway. Um, Back to another issue that uh, somebody had this morning. There's a lot of people waking up and reading channeled messages, and then they're going, man, none of this is happening. Well, you know, you got to understand that you are a participant in the game also. For a lot of us, it's just like disclosure. People are saying, well, disclosure didn't happen on, you know, the August 4th during the Olympics. Well, look at uh, Britain just came out two days ago, and their Minister of Defense said, yes, we see the UFOs up there. Um, they are benevolent. They're not hurting anybody. And we're not going to spend all our money and our time going trying to chase every little, you know, person that sees them and trying to get the story up. Well, disclosure, guys. That's, that's you know, when you have the Minister of Defense coming out publicly and saying that and putting it in the newspapers, and then yesterday we have, uh, you know, one of the other ministers uh, of aeronautics or something there. I think it was at Heathrow or something like that saying, we see about a UFO a month here. And yeah, yeah, it's no big deal. Okay, guys, um, disclosure is occurring. Um, it might not be from President Obama going, hey, there's little gray guys that we've been working with for the past 60 years ever since the... Uh, Montauk experiments, <laughs> you know, whatever it is, um, you know, to say these things aren't happening, you're not opening your eyes. But here, uh, the channeled messages that you hear and that you're following, do not let anybody be your guide. Um, this is a time of absolute mastery for each and every one of us. We are coming into our own light our own frequencies, our own vibration. There are no more gurus. I am not somebody that you should be following. Following me can get you killed. <laughs> you know, I do some pretty wild stuff and, uh, and I do it because I can. I do it because I love the adventure. I do it because I am in touch, not only with spirit, but also Mother Earth. And um, I ask Archangel Michael many times when I get in situations that are going to be very dangerous um if i uh if i'm gonna be okay can i do it can i go out and have a blast can i have some fun it's just like walking in the middle of a hurricane and i do these things and if i get told yes then 
it's okay. I, you know, for me, I can walk through that hurricane. I know I'm absolutely protected, but you know, for you, I know I'm safe. I'm a survive, but you might not. <laughs> and that's not my deal. That's yours. <laughs> so, um, do you see what I'm saying? You have got to learn to, um, decide and decipher and discern what is, um, what is your truth? What is, um, your capabilities? What, and a lot of this is all about vibration. It's all about your light. It's all about being a hue man, a light man, a light being. It's vibration. It's it's your frequency. Um, the more light that you can hold within your field, the more that you can command the elements around you. It's, you know, an interesting example today while I'm going on a bike ride, and I'm I always, you know, I'm in absolute meditation anyway, but sometimes I'm really building up my light and getting my breath, my prana going when I'm doing these things. And today this butterfly comes over right over my handlebars, right over my handlebars. I'm going about 10 miles an hour up the mountain, and here's this butterfly right there in front of me. I can see him. He's there for about five, 10 seconds, and gone. These hummingbirds, and then sit there looking at me and flying with me on my side, and then they take off. And, you know, the more light you hold in your field, the more these things happen because you are natural to everything that's around you. And it's the same thing with walking in storms or, you know, shoot, I lived up in the Arctic in the bush for, you know, several years back when it was real Alaska. I was about 50 miles below the, the Arctic Circle on the 70 mile river on the south side of Yukon and Charlie. Back when, you know, literally it would be 70 below for a couple of weeks. And, you know, it was it was a death sentence if you screwed up. It's no screw up zone. And, uh, you know, you have to be really, really in your sphere, in the spirit, in your focus, in your center point to be able to do things like that. And um, to be able to hear when... Um, Yes, you can go this way, but don't go that way. You go that way and you're going to end up with a 10-foot grizzly bear on your ass. <laughs> you know, just, just one little bitty mess up walking across a river at, you know, 30, 40 below zero. And, and you know, you can feel it if there's thin ice over there. And if you go in, you're a dead man. Walking across sand in the summertime and... You know, it, it looks like a nice little sandbar and get there and it's quicksand <laughs> and you're in trouble. Um, these things are just normal. But when you are absolutely connected from source all the way down Mother Earth and you are in your heart, out of your head, in your heart, you're experiencing what's going on. Hey, hummingbird, I got this most beautiful little orange, bright, solid, I mean, all orange hummingbird that's hanging out with me um and he's just as curious about me as i am about him he has no green or no red throat or anything he's just solid orange he's just really absolutely too cool um anyway when you're in the spirit really magical things happen and it's that same magic that allows you to be able to do things that are seemingly supernatural it's that same magic that same vibration that allows you to manifest. Uh, manifestation occurs by a proper technique of how you put that into, um, into the field. And it also has to do with how much light is around your field as to, it, the light is the raw energy that channels out into Mother Earth and uh, returns in the manifestation, in the actual manifestation. Now, how quickly that happens has to do with your vibration and how high your vibration is. The higher your vibration is, the more quickly your, um, your manifestation will occur, the more quickly the field can respond to it. And so it's all a part of a process. It's all a technique. And, um, all we're doing is learning how to master the technique. And for me, years ago, I wasn't certain that it was for real. And now I, I'm teaching it. I'm proving it. I'm showing you. I live it. And so anyway, with all the different manifestation, these things aren't happening. I can't do it. Man, man, I'm Truly, don't mind. Just keep on. Keep on. Keep on. You'll get it. You'll get it.
Everybody's getting them. Anyway, bye for now, guys. I love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>